This is our supply water pond. It looks a little muddy because we are pumping the return water. And we processed four tons this morning and that gets dirt mixed in with the water. And now I've got a little garden hose pump and I'm pumping it up. This is our plights jig. And this is the gravel from our uh, two of our four one foot square baskets. And this just jigs up and down. See, a motor turns this around and it pulls it up and down in this water. Now, while you watch that, I'm going to try with one hand to put more gravel in here. And uh, it feeds down through a hole in the middle and it jigs into the center of this bouncing screen. That works like an automatic Saruka, more or less. If you're in, uh, familiar with Sarukas from the crater, this is an automatic one. So, as we put more gravel and water in here, it will overflow here and run down and back into our pond. Right now, we have enough water in there, so I'll turn it off. You know, this is already jigged up and down several times more than you would with a regular Saruka. But anyway, all the heavies are going to the bottom. And later when this vat fills up, see, the, if you keep putting gravel in there, it'll waterfall over the side of the screen that's bouncing up and down. The one I have in there is a finer screen than this is kind of coarse, but anyway, it'll catch fine diamonds. Then when we're done, we just shut that off. I lift it out and I set it over here on this slope to drain. And then I will put one of these round boards on it and flip it over and put it on here and set it out in the sun to dry. And I'll make another video in a little bit after I get a bunch of these Sarukas jig. That was the first one. When I get them done, I'll show you what the centers look like from our uh, attempt to recover diamonds this morning. <laughs> 